Hello, my name is Stephanie Willis, and today, and today I'm going to be introducing you my crowd content concept idea, which is the House of Bones. What is House of Bones? Well, the goal is to create a 2D animated pilot episode, which would be like an idea to, towards creating the animated animated series to get, to get noticed. And it's going to be like less than 10 minutes long. It's in the supernatural and horror theme. And it's aimed in teens and bud, a teens and adults, range from ages like eighteen to thirty. So what's the story about? Well the story's about a girl who ends up teeping up with a tutor skeleton one day who's called Demo after discovering a bad mansion in a town town which actually contains a portal that that's been open for two hundred years. This portal connects to the world of the dead and contains evil beings that want to go to the land of the living to cause destruction and mayhem. The pay have to keep the town safe and guard the portal until one day it causes for good. And what you see on the slide is like concept art for the pilot episode. Like the girl meeting the, the cow in the portal for the first time and meeting Demo for the first time. On this side, these were the character design concepts, which is of the girl. How to design of demo the scale the tier skeleton as well. Well, on the team, well, it's going to be myself. Really, I'll be the leader of the project. I'm um, I'm currently known as like a as an anime as my position, but other members that would be involved in the team would be like other like other animators to, and like if I'm a background artist, storyboard artist, sound design, and also voice actors to voice the characters. So I did some research, like market research on what's already out there, such as like other TV series that, that, that are in the horror and supernatural genre themes. For example, like Stranger Things and Supernatural, which is like very popular with audiences at the moment. And also an adult animated TV series already exists. Like there's two like two examples, like for example the American like like tends to focus around family and comedy in one pilot episodes like Rick and Morty from Rick and Morty and Japanese anime that that, that plot lasts for the entire entire season but it also contains lots of violence in it. And House of Bones is gonna like fit in between the two. For a crowdfunding platform I platform I choose Kickstarter. But in why? Well it's well known, it's used very wide by more people. It, you can get support early in the audience in development. It can create a community that feels a sense of belonging with the project and directly involved in its creation. And and it's a test that, to test out the demand for this sort of animation if, if there's a, already a market already for it. Investment. Well, I estimate that, that the, the pilot episode could cost around £30,000, although that is cheap for an animation for a budget. But I felt like that was amount that was more likely to be achieved for a crowdfunding platform. The cost will go to design and animation production, post production, operation costs, awards, and Kickstarter fees. The fee reduction should be done before being launched on Kickstarter. The money will help to produce a high quality television production pilot episode. So for the timeline, we're going to like create an online community, like to build up a presence. And that was in it before launching onto Kickstarter, which will last for 30 days. Once it's it's successfully funded, if it's a successfully funded project, then we're going to the, the animation production. And during that, there will be a production for for backers for daily updates on the progress of the animation, and then post production, and then hoping to take the the animate the animation to festivals to raise awareness, and I can hope we generate enough interest to make an a mini. Mini or TV series. So it's just an online presence. For uh, gonna use, I'm gonna use social media such as Twitter and Facebook for for giving for giving out daily updates on the project. Came up with pledge awards and prizes for backers on each level. This was based on research for looking at examples of animation campaigns on Kickstarter. What what worked well and gave the audience a wide range of choice of awards to choose from that would suit everyone. For example, a backers like five pounds, they can get access to the production board. Or if they if they pledge fifty pounds, they would be able to get a physical output 
copy contained concept art. Or if they would or if the theme is very generous, they could pledge five hundred pounds and, and they'll be able to get a signed production artwork. All the way up to a thousand pound pledge where they can have a, a chance to design their own be able to design their own character with the with the production crew. And the f the, 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 the funding is pretty important because this is majorly majorly where the the money the gold money will come from and will help give the project a big boost. So and that's my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you for listening and that's me.